While most of the world lay asleep on Wednesday, June 2018, my younger brother, Michael, was in a serious car accident that left him with nine broken ribs, a complex fracture in his left arm and wrist, and broken facial bones including both sides of his jaw, bruised lungs, and a laceration on his kidney. Over the past week, Michael has gone through two extensive surgeries, one lasting around eight hours to lay the foundation for his facial injuries to heal properly. Michael is husband to my loving and beautiful sister-in-law, Sabrina, and daddy to two of the most energetic and bright, tiny princesses. As our family heads into July, we are grateful for the miracle that Michael is alive and hopeful for his physical recovery and all of our emotional recovery. If you see this video, please send your prayers my brother's direction. He and his family have a tremendous mountain to climb ahead of them, but they are strong and they will make it. A GoFundMe site has been established for financial contributions to the family. The choral music in the background of these photos of my brother is the choir from Eastern Hills Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama, who was on tour at the hospital where Michael was in the ICU one of the days we were visiting. Monthly Household Tasks, first of the month routine. Let's get the new month off to a great start. My husband, Devin, and I each have a few monthly household tasks that we've developed over time and now do consistently every month. A couple of my tasks run simultaneously, so here you'll see me getting started with those first in the laundry room. On the first of each month, I thoroughly wipe the edges of the washing machine tub and run a tub clean cycle with either a washing machine cleaner, such as the AFresh washer cleaner I'm using this time, or bleach, which I've done in the past. We have a top-loading HE washing machine, which we generally love, but I have a tendency to get off balance. Somehow, my husband never does. First, I take a wet white cleaning cloth, wet with just water, and wipe along the top edges of the washing machine tub. I'm careful to move the tub each direction and to slowly and gently move my hand along the edges to avoid touching anything other than the edging with my hands or hurting myself on anything. Once that is done, I use a pair of scissors to open the AFresh packet and drop the tablet into the washing machine tub. Close the lid and turn the washing machine onto tub clean. If your machine doesn't have that setting, you can use whitest whites, antibacterial, or the hottest wash setting on your machine. I press start and let the washing machine do its thing while I move on to another task. This clip is from the top of the washing machine, looking through the clear door as the machine begins to fill. The next thing is to run a clean cycle on our dishwasher. Previously, I've always used white vinegar to do this, but this month I tried out Finish dishwasher cleaner for the first time. The package is kind of a rectangular plastic bottle with liquid inside. You remove a sticker label from the lid of the bottle which reveals a wax plug. You do not remove the wax plug or the lid. You place the lid side down in the bottom rack of the dishwasher and start an antibacterial, pots and pans, sanitation, or otherwise hottest setting with the dishwasher completely empty other than the cleaner and normal dishwasher parts. I set our dishwasher to the antibacterial setting hit start and let the dishwasher do its thing as I move to the next task. Next, my husband is taking care of changing our furnace filter and quickly checking the water softener salt level. It takes literally minutes to change the furnace filter monthly and this one task drastically improves the air quality in your home and decreases the energy consumed by your furnace, helping to keep you healthy and saving you money. Devin didn't need to add salt to our water softener, but he pays close attention to the water softener for me because when we don't maintain the level properly, it's visible by my white hair turning orange. Obviously not my preference. Uh, we give the dogs their heart, heartworm medication each month. Big Girls is heart guard and Picasso's is Sentinel. Hers is a prescription. And there's no real reason for that other than our veterinarian suggested it and Figaro gets his heart guard through Guide Dogs for the Blind, so we've continued with that. We just have a 
big bin of their medications. We still have our front line in here, even though both dogs are now on Brevecto. This is Fig's heart guard. Like I said, we just ran out of Picasso Sentinel. We'll have to get that refilled, but it's easy to remember to give them their heartworm medication on the first of the month. This is Fig's. Whoops, dropping things. And this is Picasso's. Good girl. He takes things far more gently than he does. <laughs> You're a little more vigorous. Yeah. So that's all done. Until next month. And their Brevecto is only once every three months. We do Brevecto for them for their flea and tick uh, preventative. And it is a chewable also. And it's only once every three months. So we really like that because it's convenient and it's easy. And they think it's a nice treat. <laughs> Back to the washing machine. The tub clean cycle has ended and I will quickly wipe off the inside of the clear top loading door with a dry white cleaning cloth. I will also wipe along the top of the washing machine tub edge and bleach compartment again, this time with a dry white cleaning cloth. I don't believe I showed this in either clip, but I do go over the washer and dryer with a gentle all-purpose cleaner and wipe down and dry the outsides of each machine as well. I tried to show you the top edge post cleaning cycle because it is mostly clear of all debris and any pieces of dirt or lint where there are many pieces of hair and lint visible prior to the cleaning cycle. And back to the dishwasher, which has completed its cleaning cycle as well. The finished dishwasher cleaner did a great job. The dishwasher is shiny and there's no distinct smell, just the neutral smell of clean. I slide each dishwasher rack out and back in and dispose of the cleaner bottle. Last but not least, I will wipe off our whiteboard calendar for the month of June and prepare it for the month of July 2018. We don't keep everything on this whiteboard calendar. Devin and I share a number of family and work calendars on our phones, so the whiteboard calendar is really just a visual reminder right inside the door we typically enter our house through, for us and for Katie, of our kind of main events and appointments. Since it's hard for me to do this task, I try to write one week of the calendar at a time. I tend to smudge whiteboard markers with my hand, and I sometimes have to get very close to the board itself. So I try to minimize the writing that I have to pay attention to as I add things. I did forget to line the times that Katie will be with us as I went, so I do that at the end. Katie spends half of her time with her dad and half of her time with us, and summer schedules can be a bit mixed up due to travel and special events, so it may not look 50-50 on the calendar. We have loads to look forward to this month. We are attending the National Conference of NOAA, the National Organization of Albinism and Hypopigmentation, a conference none of us have attended before. We're all super excited for the conference and we've been preparing Evie and making plans on our own and with the kids conference directors for how we will try to best manage Evie's autism and sensory challenges in a busy, unfamiliar conference setting. We're doing a lot to prepare her for it, and while handling the whole national convention setting will be a challenge, I know we can all do it. I will film and share a video about our preparation with Evie for a national convention setting and events, and we will vlog during the conference and our travels as well, so stay tuned for that. Evie is also attending a school-based program called Extended School Year. ESY is outside of Evie's normal routine, but we advocated hard for it for her, and we're hopeful that it will be beneficial for her academically and with respect to helping her transition smoothly into first grade at the end of August. We're also hoping she has some fun and meets some new friends in the program. Here's an overview of our completed July 2018 whiteboard calendar and our little family command station. Thanks so much for joining us for our monthly household task routine. Since I shared my brother's story in the beginning of this video, I didn't do my normal intro. My name is Nicole and I'm a blind wife to my high school sweetheart, Devin, and mom to two amazing girls. Katie, age 13, and Evie, age 5. Evie has autism, so we have started sharing some of our experiences and what we have learned through Evie's challenges as part of our content. We also share a wide variety of other content, including lifestyle, family vlogs, 
cleaning, hauls, crafts and DIY, disability and service dog related content, and disability awareness and etiquette related content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps our channel to grow and reach more people. If you enjoy this kind of content, we would love to have you subscribe to our channel and join our little YouTube corner of the world. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.